So if you've watched our Albania series, you'll know that we absolutely love the city of Tirana. We've fallen in love with it. The people, the food, the architecture, everything. But there is one downside to this city, and that is the bus station. Now, I don't want to spend this entire series glorifying the city, because to be honest, that's not completely true. There are issues, and the bus station is a major issue. So in this video, we're gonna go and show you this bus station so you can go and see it for yourself and get an idea of just how bad it actually is. Let's go. All right, so we're making our way to the bus station now on what is another busy day in Tirana. And uh, we have genuinely enjoyed this city. I don't think that we're showcasing the negative stuff, you know, to be negative about this place. We do genuinely love it, but on this channel, we do try to keep it 100. We try to be real with you all. And uh, there are cities in the world that we absolutely love, that there are things about it that we don't. And if we were to paint everything in a completely positive light, we'd just be like all those other YouTube channels with the fake stock music and the smiles and the over glorification. And that's not how our channel works, you know? Our channel's more about showing the reality of travel. Travel isn't the most glamorous of things at times. And uh, sometimes you'll end up in situations or places which aren't as, uh, as amazing as others. But uh, I will say that the bus station is functional. It does work. So there is that. And uh, my metric for success with anything like that is, does it work? Does the bus station get me from A to B? And if the answer to that is yes, then really I'm happy. But I will say that in terms of bus stations, it is easily one of the worst that I've seen in Europe. Easily. And I've been to a few bus stations around in different cities. And this one by far takes the biscuit. We got there, got off the bus, and it's really hard to describe what it was like. So that's why we're gonna show you today. But we could hear rats squeaking around these uh, overfilled rubbish bins. And uh, for me, that gives, uh, that gives things a bad name because when we got further into the city, we realized how beautiful modern it was. And uh, in terms of first impressions, in terms of first impressions, that's what, it, what counts. So the fact that you first arrive in the city, and that's the first thing you see, doesn't paint a positive light. So hopefully this video will go some small way to showcase that that's something that does need fixing in order to improve the overall appearance of the city. So for me, with Tirana being one of my new favorite cities, I think it's a little bit of a surprise actually, just how bad this station actually is. Like when I saw it in my own eyes, that's the first impression that I got of the city. It was like, okay, what have we got, yeah, what have we got to come? Yeah. And it wasn't until we pushed further into Tirana that we realized that it's a beautiful city and very modern with lots going on. But the bus station was our first impression and first impressions count. So as you can imagine, when we arrived, we were a little bit concerned of what we were getting ourselves into. Now, of course, every area has its good and bad. And even London, for instance, there's parts of London which are decaying and crumbling. But if I was to be completely honest with you guys, I would say this is one of the worst bus stations I've seen in Europe. It is genuinely that bad, which is surprising given how the city itself is probably one of the more beautiful, modern, and liveliest cities that I've ever visited in Europe. So go figure, but let's get there. And let's go and see it for ourselves. I think it's important to say this. If you're from Albania, Tirana, and you think I'm here being negative about your country, your city, I please understand that I'm not. And if you feel that, please go back and watch some of our videos from the series and you'll see for yourself just how much we love this city. But as I mentioned earlier, I think it's important to showcase both sides of the city, the good and the bad. And I do the same wherever I go because there is a reality for the locals that live in a place which is where it's not as good as people may initially think. For instance, a lot of people say that Greece, Athens, 
is one of the most beautiful cities in the entire world. But then when you speak to some of the residents there, they say that although that may be true, in some cases, there are parts of the city that they wouldn't even go to. But yeah, people don't ever showcase that bit, or very rarely do. And I think for that reason, it's important to show both sides of the coin. So this is certainly not about me saying, hey, look how bad things are here. Look how terrible it is. All you have to do is go back and watch our previous video and you'll see that out of every place I've ever visited, I've been the most complimentary to this one. But equally, I do feel it's important to showcase both sides of the coin so that if you ever want to visit, you know that there's two sides of the sea and perhaps you may want to visit this side. And for me, I quite like this side, actually. It's a lot more authentic and a lot more lived in. Whereas the centre is beautiful, but it's very, very highly crafted. And I don't quite know if that's the true representation of Tirana. I think the true representation of any city are the areas on the outskirts where the people live and spend their days on a day-to-day -day basis. I will say, Tirana, your city does have some of the coolest artwork. Look at this. Everywhere you look, there's a really cool mural or painting or something on the wall. And uh, I do love a good bit of artwork, actually. Um, I'm a big fan of it. It really does add some colour and brightness to the city. And uh, Toronto has plenty of it. And in fact, where we were staying, there was an incredible mural on the side of our building. I absolutely loved it. It was somewhat of a landmark, actually. It's how we found the building when we would get lost. But then the bus station itself is, uh, well, leaves a lot to be desired. So let's have a look. Yeah, so keeping it 100% real, you guys. This isn't, this isn't good. It's not a good look. Like this is the bus station of such a beautiful, historical, incredible city. And that is, uh, in many ways, a bit of a disservice, really, because you've got... I saw a shopping mall yesterday, which, uh, it must have been at least five floors tall. I've never seen a shopping mall that big. Modern, ultra clean, incredible. And then, when we first arrived, this is the first thing we saw. You see those orange bins there? I kid you not, there are rats around these bins. You could hear them. And this is the bus station of such an incredible city. There's no ATM, no cash points, no where to sit. And we've been to quite a few bus stations around the world. And this has got to be the worst one. And I do think that's unfair for such an incredible city to have such a, a terrible bus station. And before you say this is actually the main bus station, this is the city's main hub, the actual real genuine bus station for the city and this is it there's no kiosks really there's no places to sit it's dirty and not well maintained and it's not the true representation of Tirana and I feel it's unfair to to well for this to be it really you know we went to the uh, the bus station over in Podgorica and that was completely fine. We went to the one in Mostar, Dubrovnik, Kotor, Split. Been to a few bus stations around the Balkans and all of them were good. But this one unfortunately is not. Well, it's not all doom and gloom. In fact, uh, Tammy just had a really positive experience a moment ago. Do you want to tell everyone about it, love? Yeah, so obviously while Bob was filming the segment here, um, there's a Flixbus like, shop office thing office, back yeah, there office, yeah. and um, the lady like called me over and she was like are you waiting for the 1015 bus I don't remember yeah. she goes it's on its way you make your way down to number one which there are people there. down there waiting and yeah she was ever so nice yeah so the workers here are very friendly and very helpful so uh, the people that work here are very very incredible people so there are some positives the people do make it good but uh, again I think the the bus stop but well, the station itself needs a big facelift. So, uh, if you were to get my opinion on this Albania, I would say this is, should be the main focus, is fixing this bus station up and 
creating a modern, new, beautiful bus station that everyone can enjoy. Because as I say, this is really the first impression for people who are arriving by bus. And it's not a fair impression because this is not what the city's like as a whole. In fact, it is one of them, easily the most beautiful cities I've ever seen in my life. So, it's not a fair representation. But anyway, there you go. This is what to expect. So, I hope you find this video relatively informative, useful, and this, well, at least you know if you come to the bus station, this is where you are. I hope that someone sees this and goes, yeah, we've got a beautiful modern city. We do need to knock this thing down and build a nice big modern one to really showcase what a beautiful place we are. But regardless, it's just my thoughts. People might not share it. People may just think it's just a bus station, dude. Get over it, and that's fine. But either way, I do think a city like Tirana, with such modern, beautiful culture and history and architecture, really does deserve better than this. So anyway, what are your thoughts, love? Exactly the same as yours, so I could do with a do up. Yeah. It's so we're going to side to say it just needs knocking down. Knocking yeah. down, rebuilding, and a good example of a really nice building would be the shopping centre um, that we visited recently. The, uh, the architecture of that, that's a really good example of something that's really really good and that would really work glass and metal and things like that a place to sit a little food court thing like that you know again i can't <laughs> it's up to the it's up to the city to do something about it but again first impressions count guys and this is the first impressions but then when you draw into the city it's a completely different experience but i do think the first impressions can count it's important to mention though that our train station where i live in my hometown it's terrible and that's the first impression you get so a lot of people don't like our city because they arrive and they're like what a terrible outdated bus station but anyway we have a bus to catch to montenegro now we're going to podgorica so we're going to start going to find it and going to head back over there so we really appreciate your time we hope this has been useful we hope you have a great day and again albania if you guys are watching please don't think i'm being negative but i'm just trying to paint the city in as far a light as i possibly can Anyway, have a great day, people, and catch you very soon. Take care.